Hi guys and welcome to Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition. I have literally had this game since the moment it released and only now I'm getting around to playing it. How bad is that guys? But I really enjoyed the original Wolf Quest. I loved it and I'm really excited to play this game as well. So I'm actually um, subscribed to these guys' YouTube channel and I've been watching all of the updates for the game and I am extremely excited. So without further ado, let's start a new game. So um, I guess we're going to have this map. I'm not sure what exactly is like in the game at the moment. We're going to do single player. We're going to do easy. Uh, mate cannot die works for me. So delete word, modify, or create a new. Um, I guess we're just going to modify this wolf. That works. So here is our wolf. So we're gonna have a little look at all of the different coats. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this customization now. This is exciting. When you can fully like change like the tint and everything. Ooh. This is really awesome. They have like the rough pack one, pack two classic coats. Oh look at the white one. Oh, that is beautiful. And then you can do eye colour. So let's see here. Turn to dark. Pretty bright. Oh, okay. You can do like really light eyes, really dark. Ooh, this is really cool. Okay, we're going to do these eyes. And then howls. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, ooh, gender female. <laughs> okay. There you go. Torn, bent. Uh, I like her ears. Body mass, radio collar, fluffy tail, back curve, oh, rough neck. Uh, a new star system is coming soon. Okie dokie. Write your bio here. Personality. Cautious or bold? We're going to be here bold. Let's check this out information. About personality, other wolves you meet from potential mates to hostile wolves defending the territory have personalities that affect their behaviour. Some will be bold, ready to dash into a hunt or fight without hesitations. Others will be cautious, holding back until they feel more confident about their odds. Some will be energetic, moving about constantly, while others will be rather lazy. And some will be quite social, quick to initiate or respond to social actions and emotions. Others will be loners, keeping to themselves. Your wolf, of course, will behave as you choose. Since your pup's personalities are partially determined by the personalities of the parents, you can configure your wolf's personality for that purpose. Okay, well, we're just going to kind of do this then. We don't want to have, like, a lazy pup, do we? So we're going to do that. That is really cool. Um, what to call you? We're going to call her Dakota, which is really cute, I think. So, as the runt of the litter, she's always had to look out for herself, but now she hopes to start her own pack to share... Oops, I spelled share wrong. We need an A. <laughs> share her future with. That kind of works for me. So, here we go. I guess now we press continue. I'm very happy with this. She's very cool. So, can we not, like, choose different options yet? Or is it just not going to do it? So, we can choose that. Okay, well I guess we haven't got too many options in-game at the moment, but we're going to come and get started. Since wolves reduce the number of co- Oh, the wolf pack works together to raise a litter. Okay, it went really fast and I didn't have time to read it. Fair enough. Ooh, look at this. Learn to hunt. As a new arrival here in the Lamar Valley of Yellowstone, you must learn how to hunt the prey animals here. Mostly elk, but also mule deer and moose. You'll have to become a good hunter before you can pursue another, persuade another wolf to become your mate. Okay, how to play. Complete this quest by killing two elk. You'll find them up here on the mountain slopes and ridges above the valley. Later in the fall, they'll move down into the valley. Reveal goals in quests menu. Press tab key to open. 
Okie dokie. Wolf badge. The wolf badge provides key information about your wolf. Red is health, so lose health during attacks or when biting and fighting other animals. Green is energy. Expend energy with action. You will have less energy when digesting a big meal. Health and energy recharge automatically and faster when resting and sleeping. Oh, okay. Wolf badge. Hunger. Wolves can go days without eating, but eventually you must find food. Sleep. Wolves asleep for much of the day, so when this meat is empty, it's time for a nap. Wolf badge. The compass shows cardinal directions as well as custom map markers and sometimes the destination for your current mission. This shows which, which, whose territory you are in and black means nobody has claimed this spot. Other colours are keyed to pack territories shown on the map world, uh, the world map. Ooh, excellent. Okay, so if you press tab, this is kind of like our stats. And then we have quests. So, learn how to hunt. Okay. So, kill two elk. Find a mate. Winter is coming, so it's time to start looking for a mate. Okay, so I guess those are coming next. This is really cool. Pack information and then map. Amethyst Mountain. Ooh, so this is us. These are custom markers. We can show pack territory. So here we are. We've got the Fossil Forest, the Overlook, Lower Amstel Creek. Um, I'm not sure what that says. The river, the valley, the creek, the burn. Amethyst Creek. Ooh, this is a very cool map. Oh, we can like zoom in. Ooh, that is awesome. Look at this. Uh, phase fall or phase four, I think that says. Very, very cool. Loving the map. That is awesome. Show park territories. Okay, so we've got a territory here, a territory here, and here, and we're in this black bit. So, Junction, Butte, Wapiti, and Lava Canyon. Okay. Alright then, let's get used to the controls again. So, move around. Okie dokie. Oh, we jump now. Oh, I lost health for that. We're sliding down a hill. <gasps> so, W to auto run. Move mouse left or right. Tap shift to gallop. Right. Okay, so now we're auto, like, trotting, I guess. Shift to gallop. Okay. Adjusting. Right, now I guess we look for some elk, right? Cool. This is very awesome. How do I bite? Like, A, Q, E, emotes, and then shift is to run. Scent view is V, and then R is to rest. So V, so R is to rest, T, is to kind of go into first person and then F. I'm not sure how we attack. I guess we use our mouse button when we get closer to the elk. Camera controls get a little bit of taking getting used to, but we're gonna pop it to scent view. Ooh, look at that. Look at that guys. This is so cool. Elk herd. Ooh, fox, mule deer. Okay, so we just have to find the right one. So that's the fox, possibly. Buck mule deer, cock. Ooh, elk herd. I guess we're gonna go this way. Okay, so I think this pinky one is an elk herd. I'm not really sure. We're just gonna kind of travel. <laughs> it's a coyote. Coyote scent book. I guess we're just gonna have a wander in this view, see what we can see. Mule deer. It's very confusing. <laughs> It's going to take a little bit again used to, I'm not going to lie. It's very cool, isn't it? It's so exciting to be playing this again. It's such a cool game, so I'm really excited to see what changes we have. I like this view of being like really in the, the world's perspective almost. So that's cool. So I kind of just want to explore, really. Hopefully we can kill two elk. But I'm excited to be back here. It looks very awesome, I have to say. I think we can, like, stalk. Let's rest. 
That's a moat. That is so beautiful. Look at the rain. That is so pretty. I love it. It's beautiful. Oh, we woke up behind a tree. <laughs> Targeting animals. The yellow arrow appears over nearby animals. Click to lock the camera onto it. Ooh. Okay. I can do that. Uh, press space to attack. Got it. Ooh, I got it, guys. I made my first kill. Um, carcass go. This is the carcass of a dead animal. How gory do you want this to be? You can always change this. I'm, I'm happy to have go. Um, when the I can tap space to eat. Okay. Well, I think we should, you know, get a photo of this momentous occasion. Okay, now that we're in this view, it's very strange. Okay, and we can't see anything. <laughs> At least she's gonna have something to eat, which is definitely a good thing. She's so beautiful. I wanna get loads of photos of her. Very awesome. Okay, sorry guys, I'm done taking photos, I promise. <laughs> so open the map and close it again, right? So we can open the map stuff. So this is where we are, awesome. And uh, it's night time now. We've made it night, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna head this way. Still getting used to the controls a bit, but that's okay. <laughs> Apologise for very strange camera angles, but this is very cool. At least we did make our first kill, so that's pretty awesome. Hopefully we can find some elk. So let's pop back into scent view. And like, try and get a feel for where these guys are going to be hanging out. Grizzly bear. Ooh, ground scents. These are scented footprints of one of your competitor species. Wolf, grizzlies, bear, cougar, coyote, or fox. Some of these pose a threat to you, but they can also lead you to a carcass if you're willing to fight them for it. Um, no, not really willing to fight them for it. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'll be going to find a grizzly bear. Don't really want to die on the first part. Thanks anyway. <laughs> so we have more grizzly bear stuff going on, which I do not want to be coming across. We're gonna go this way. You can kind of see with the grizzly. Oh, we can kind of see like a yellow one over here as well. So I'm going to check that out instead. Definitely. Okay, still adjusting to weirdness. <gasps> oh my god, I can see elk in the background. Oh, so we'll find out. I think it's a moose. It's right. It's got to be a moose. Oh, it's a mule deer. Look around for them. Try approach them from downwind. Without a pack to help you, we'll look for the smallest and weakest among them. Fawns are smaller and weaker than adults, but usually have mother to protect them. To discover the help of a mule, bite it. Oh my goodness, it's really tricky. Camera angle's gone crazy on me as well. Ooh. Should we try it? Give it a go. Keep an eye on our health. Showdown. Your prey is not fleeing from you. Either it feels strong enough to defend itself or it's too tired to keep running. You must attack its space without taking much damage from those sharp hooves. Click to look at the camera you target, then use AOD to circle it. Right, okay. Right, got it. This is cool. We're literally like holding on to it. I think we're gonna get it guys. This is really cool. You're kind of holding on to the back of it. It's mad. I can't believe we're actually able to do this. It's crazy. We need to slow up. We're running out of steam. Oh my god. Are we really gonna take it down? I really like the way you can like lock on to it. So... Other common controls. Control... Uh, control and W, how emotes rest. Okay. <gasps> I did it, guys! Our first kill! Oh my gosh! Okay, another moment that you guessed it, I have to take a photo for. Our first kill, guys! I actually took down a buck mule deer. I can't believe it! Oh my goodness! I've done it! I guess we know where we're sleeping. The only thing is, though, if we do sleep here, then we will attract, like, 
other animals. We're going to eat as much as we can off it. And we're no longer f f uh, needing anything to eat because we're full. That's fine. So we are going to rest here. And uh, we're going to... Um, how did I sleep again? I can't remember. Q and hold to free calm. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna kind of chill here. T, no, X, or Z, that was it, to catch some rest. So we're gonna go off to sleep. So I'm going to end the first episode here, guys. I'm super excited for this, and I'm really excited for Dakota's journey. I hope you guys are as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.